Seven players of different ranks ranging from silver to grand champ have been brought on today to compete for a total prize pool of 2500 credits. They will participate in various challenges to win immunity and avoid elimination. Those who lose challenges will be brought to the tribal council where they will be voted out of the competition by their fellow contestants. Eliminated contestants will be sent to the jury where they will continue to play a big role in determining the outcome of the game. Players must learn to adapt or they will be voted off until only one remains. I am your host, HK Boba, and this is Rocket League Survivor. As our contestants begin to roll in, let's check in to see how they feel about the competition. Uh, my name is Manta Reyes, and I am a silver, and I'm going to win because no one is going to suspect me. No one. Like, I'm gonna mind game these fools. Manta might have the skills of a silver, but she's got the heart of a grand champ. That said, let's go check in with one of our GCs. My name's Snail, I'm GC. I'm gonna win because I'm the highest ranked person here. Actually, uh, Otis is like 2k something. What, really? Yeah. Uh, well, I'm probably gonna win anyway. There's that GC confidence. But if we want to talk about confidence, we have to meet our next contestant. Uh, Ozo, I'm a diamond, but in reality, I'm actually Grand Champ. I'm just stuck in diamond. Like people say that a lot, but this one's true. So that's, that's the reason I'm going to win. With the rest of the contestants, I finished explaining the rules to them and let's take a look to see if everyone is ready to go. Anyways, I hope everyone here is excited to begin and ready to go on to our first event. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> our first event today is Rocket League Free For All. It does not matter which goal you score in, it is every person for themselves. As long as you score, you get to sit out and chill in the audience with me. After three players have scored, the game is over and the remaining four players will be taken to our first tribal council where one of them will be voted out and joining the jury. Alright, and let's kick things off. No pun intended. I feel like there are two ways you can go at this challenge, alright? You can either ball chase the crap out of it, or you can hang out near a net and try to steal it at the last second. It looks like Manta might have a shot here, but she misses and Ozo steals it at the last second, giving us our first winner. With six contestants left, we get right back into it. Otis tries to take possession here for a flick, but gets denied by Budget Musty. Oscar tries to defend and puts the ball in the corner, but actually sets up a power shot opportunity for Snail. Oh, that, that was great. Right. The second oh, goal has been Ew. scored. <laughs> Who scored that? Oscar hits it. Snail did, I think. That's Snail not, actually not. scores it in. Oh, Budget Musty Whoa. takes Budget it must. at the end. Budget <laughs> Musty, please go to spectator. You have won. Things are getting heated up as there's only one safe spot left. And Fire Red Alez secures that right away. Welcome to our first tribal council. The four players who were unable to secure a goal from the previous challenge are now on the chopping block and must vote amongst themselves to see who will be our first eliminated contestant. Who is your vote and why? It's gotta be Otis, because he's the biggest threat at the moment. Uh, I'm gonna vote for Otis. Um, he's the highest ranked here, so... Who are you voting out? Snail. I don't like Snail. Alright, Manta. Hello. Who are you voting <laughs> for and why? Um, I'm going to vote for Snail because I haven't heard a lot of Snail and I don't know. I don't know enough about him, so he's a threat. Alright, All right, guys. All right. So... We have our first draw of the game. Can Oscar and Manta please leave the podium and go join the audience? Oh, now we must collect votes from all five audience members to see who will be our first eliminated contestant. And our first player out is... Otis. My name is Otis. I am a GC and I've never lost a game in my life. Well, I guess it's the first time for everything. Let's move on to the second event, Rumble Boomer Mode. The losing team will be sent to Tribal Council, where they will vote for one player to be eliminated. Alright, let's yeah, see how our red team is doing. Oh. No! Oh, wow. Oh, great hit by Snail, giving him a quick oh, scare. That was so close. I just had like the last bit of spikes. What is that? Oh, Snail's got spikes. Snail's definitely got the red team spooked. They're keeping a pretty close eye on him. I got spikes as well. Nice. Everyone got spikes. Oh, sick. 
Oh shit. Oh okay. my god. I got the plunger, wait, let me try and like just Alright, how is my blue team doing? Ah. Well I just got demoed, so that's fun. Oh. Oh Alright, snail. The boomer oh, the boomer god good. himself. There we go. Oh man. Under pressure, ding 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 ding. ding Too ding, much ding. pressure. Oh, no, it's the <laughs> yeah, but... It's an in! Oh, let's go! Let's go! Woo! One of the best shots I've ever Dude, saved so and scored. Oh my. I'm so happy he's on our team. I'm totally voting him out. Oh wow. Whoa, okay then. That celebration was short lived as Ozo reminds us all that at the end of the day, we are playing Survivor. <laughs> I, 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 what an no, idiot. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what Up a hit. <gasps> oh! Savage. Yeah, oh, that's not good. Oh. Okay, he missed. A great player using the glove by Oscar, but then he gets booted, but into the perfect spot to take a shot. With not much time left to make a comeback, Snail, with some impressive card control, goes for a couple of hits here and tries to take a shot, but Red successfully defends and clears the ball. Snail coming off the wall with spikes, trying to make a play, and the ball gets pulled away from him with a magnet. But he still gets a chance to use his spikes, which gets quickly denied by an opponent magnet again. Tensions are running super high, but with only 9 seconds left, Snail scores to even up the goals, bringing us to overtime. Alright guys, how is our blue team doing? 9 seconds left, score a goal. Snail clutching it out. Oh god, I don't know what I'm doing. <sighs> so clutching, hard. carrying, doing it all. This overtime was absolutely brutal, going for almost 5 minutes long. Both teams must definitely be feeling the fatigue by now. For a few seconds. That's not oh, hard. That's a banger. No! Oh, no! no! What a oh, end! So cool. Damn it, bro! And with that, we have our insane 10 minute Rumble Boomer match coming to an end with our red team heading to Tribal Council. Welcome to our second Tribal Council. Our losing team from the previous event must now submit votes to see who gets to stay and who will be eliminated. With our winners on one side and the jury on the other, the three endangered contestants are on the stand privately sending me their votes. And we have one vote for Fire Red Alas. One vote for Oscaruza. And the final vote was for Fire Red Alez. I am sorry, but you are now out of the competition and going to be joining the jury. Fire, do you have any final words for your fellow contestants? I mean, it was really fun. Like, uh, it was really close to the match. And the person that we needed to get out was Snail, but uh, I was just a sacrificial piece. But there's no hard feelings at all. It was all fun to get. The next challenge is Turtle Racing, where contestants will have to be on their backs and do two laps around Utopia Retro. The winner of this event will gain immunity and get to sit out on the next challenge, while the bottom two will be taken to Tribal Council, where one will be eliminated. 3, 2, 1, go, 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 go! Ooh, Ozo taking a quick lead, but taking a turn way too wide. Budget must be in the lead now. Ozo falling quick behind him. Oh, they are turtle gods. Oh, oh no. man, Everyone they have bumped. Wow. Budget two must laps, be. So that counts as one? That's one lap, yep. Oh, and and this laps. is the finale. This is the finale. We have Oscar oh, pass line oh, snail, man. Ozo. The bottom oh. two are Manta oh. Ray and Budget Musty. And once again, we are back at Tribal Council. With Manta Ray and Budget Musty on the chopping block, they will each be given one minute to plead their case to the voters and say why they deserve to stay in the competition. You can see in the last game that we played on that boomer mode, I was a pretty good addition to the team coming in with that game winning goal. But as you can tell on the 1v1s, I'm not so hot as well as in the bottom two. Actually, I think it was the last one. So I'd be easier competition if I was kept around for the 1v1s. But if it was a team mode, I might be a good teammate. I should be kept in the competition because I'm clearly no threat to anyone winning. Um, because I'm not very good in team games, this is true, but I also absolutely suck at ones. So if I do get to the finale, which is doubtful, I'm sure you'd rather go against a silver than someone who is clearly a lot better than silver as demonstrated in the boomer mode. The votes are starting to come in and Budget Musty is eliminated. Three votes to two. We've made it to our first elimination round. <laughs> 
For this challenge, there will be no tribal council, so the player who loses here will simply be out of the competition. Before we get into our elimination round, if you're enjoying the content so far and you want to see more stuff like this, I'd like you to please consider smashing that like button and hitting subscribe. Only about 5% of you watching are subbed, and it helps me out so much in figuring out what you guys like to see. Getting back into it, our next challenge is Rocket League Bowling, where the pins are going to be your fellow contestants and you are the ball. Contestants who have limited boost and as they head towards the pins, they need to jump once they hit the midline. Just like real bowling, you will have two shots to knock down as many as possible. The player who gets the least amount of pins will be eliminated from the competition. As you might recall, one player from our previous event won immunity. But upon reviewing the footage, we noticed that Oscaruza was right side up when he crossed the finish line. So after discussing it with our jury, we decided to give the immunity to the second place player, Snail. So our contestants for the elimination round is going to be Oscaruza, Manta Rays, and Ozo. Alright, we have Oscar's first ball. He resets on top of the backboard. I like the attempt. And gets Ozo knocking down Otis and into Manta. Nice, three pins. Unfortunately, he gutters and gets zero pins on his second attempt. Put in the grand total for Ozo and Manta to beat at three pins. Ozo on his first ball right now, keeping things simple, goes directly towards the net and hits two pins. Very clean attempt. Ozo on his second attempt. Oh. No, no, oh. Did he knock you oh. down? What? What a heartbreaker. Barely grazes two pins. Ozo with a great first attempt, unfortunately gives us our second gutter ball for the event. Putting him at a total of two pins. Alright, Manta with her first attempt, she only needs to beat two to knock Ozo out. Cleanly knocking down one pin, she goes for her second attempt right away, and she gets one more, tying Ozo. They now have one more toss each for the tiebreaker. With one attempt each for the redemption round, the contestants take off. And Ozo wins it by safely securing one pin. Manta Rays has been eliminated from the competition. The next event is a special one. One member of our jury is going to be given the chance to come back into the competition. We are here at Pillars for Cops and Robbers. Our remaining contestants will be playing as the robbers. They'll be given a chance to hide with full boost while the jury members await their chance to catch them. The jury members acting as our cops will start with zero boost and our first member of the jury to get a demo on the surviving contestants will swap places with them in this competition. Our jury members seem excited to get the chance to come back and they can go in 3, 2, 1. Ozo and Oscar sticking together, hanging on the right side while Snail is hiding on his own pillar to the left. Manta and Fire are heading to the right where two are hiding while Otis and Budget are sticking together, heading to the left towards Snail. And Fire is our first to spot his target, but he's just a second too late as Otis grabs the kill on Snail, returning to the competition. With this change in roster, we move on to our next event. Catch the host. The rules are simple. The first contestant to demo me will gain immunity, while the other two contestants will have to face off in one final tribal council. Alright, go, go, go. Come earn your immunity. I'm just so far away. Oh, he's jumping and everything. Oh, lord. Man, but I don't know what camera to use. Oh, shit. It's kind Those are strats, like the ceiling shot, like the ceiling lift. It's probably the best they can you. I lost track, where do you go? Oh my god, I'm already dead. What? Damn it! I was lost, I couldn't see anything! Otis bumping me and then catching me trying to grab boost on my recovery wins yet another demolition event and Ozo and Oscaruza will now have to go to tribal council. We've made it to our final tribal council. The jury members will be voting today on who they think should be eliminated from the competition. Ozo and Oscaruza will have to convince contestants who they've competed against and eliminated why they deserve the chance to face off against Otis in the finale. You now each have the floor to make your case. I've been pretty nice throughout the tournament, I think. I've like generally been nice to people. I fought my hardest during Boom, I didn't try to throw to get people out. And I've casted my votes fairly, I'd say. 
Okay, so I mean, I've been super friendly as well, but what we're really focusing on is being noticed. I know you're all thinking the same thing. And I'm the better out of this too. I'm better than Oscar any day of the week. So if you really want Otis to lose or you don't want Otis to win, you want a chance in case you get back in, you 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 don't vote me out, man, because you, you gotta have faith in me. I've had faith in you guys. That's all I have to say. Awesome, all right. Can Snail, Manta, Budget, and Fire send me your votes? Tension is in the air as our contestants are waiting for the votes to come in. And the contestant to be eliminated is... Ozo. I am sorry, but your journey in this competition is now over. You have fought well and earned third place. But Oscar Uzo will be the one facing off against Otis in the finale. Our contestants have fought long and hard and only two remain. Otis versus Oscar Ruse in our grand finale, Rocket League Trivia. The questions are simple and you may feel free to Google them, but to answer the question, you must hit the buzzer. Your opponent's goal, meaning you'll have to score in order to answer. Furthermore, you must answer immediately upon scoring. You may not look for the answer after you have pressed the buzzer. In the spirit of Survivor, where the jury plays a huge role in deciding the victor, the jury will be re-entering the competition to help one of the remaining contestants in this finale. Otis and Oscar Ruzo will be our team captains. Jury members, please join the team you'd wish to support and stand by your contestant. Every correct answer will be rewarded an extra 100 credits that our captains can pass out to one of their members. Let us begin. Okay, the first question, what were the Season 8 rewards? Hey, should me and you just like go for the ball and then have Ozo just like look it up? No, 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 no. It's fine. I got all the seasons. Oh, they're scoring. They're scoring. Okay. Four. All right. Four. How is our blue team doing? How are you guys feeling? We're feeling good. Okay. You guys yeah, have a lot good. of players. Oh, yeah, our, our, the ping on our team isn't as good. But you guys have four it. members right. and you have a goal. All right. What is the season hey. three awards? You have three seconds. Wheels. 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 All right. You guys yes. get one point. Next question. What is the title of my first video? Is it looking Wait, up? I'm looking right? Yeah, 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 I'm going now, I'm going now. Okay. Ozo is backwards. Oh is my he looking gosh. up the answer? Yeah, I got it, I got it. Okay. Oh, you got that? Oh, that's nice. No, he took my bees. Ooh, Snail getting revenge on Otis for demoing him in Cops vs. Robbers. The game is heating up as both teams have their answers ready. I don't think he's, he's missing. He's missing. To me. I was just trying to shoot nice it. Nice touch. Nice touch. It's in. There nice. It nice. Nice shot. Okay, what is the my first video? Four stock combo test one. That is correct. Team Otis ties it up one to one. Now, next question. What is the release date of Super Sonic Acrobatic Rocket Power oh. Powers? Oh, give me a date. No. This is not funny. Uh, um. That's not good. Heck. Blue team having research difficulties? Let's go check in on our red team. Alright, how is my red team doing? Oh, we're perfect. Oh, we're here. doing good. Are you guys ready to answer the question? Oh, big Always. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter how ready you are to answer if you don't score. Snail sinks one in, and blue team, do you have the answer? It was released in North America on October 9th in 2008. Blue team goes back in the lead 2-1. to one. They only need one more to win. Question number 4, while we're on the topic of SARP, what game engine was it made in? You got it? You got it? I'm missing it. Tell me when you have it, I'll score. Missing on purpose to stall for time. A lot of confidence coming from our red team. Nice, right, let's go, alright. All right. All right. What is the game point. engine? Unreal Engine 3. We are down to the wire as red team ties it back up 2-2. This has been an insanely close game and it is time for our final question. What was the release date of the first Survivor episode? The show premiered on May 31st, 2000. Yeah, that, that's the answer. That's it, yeah. Okay, so we're good? Yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay. Both teams seem ready to go. Now it's down to who can score first. Nice. What is the release year of the first episode? Oh, okay. May 31st, 2000. And that is the correct answer, bringing us our first Survivor Champion, Otis. A huge thank you to all the contestants who participated, and here are the final results. Bonus credits given out during the final round are indicated here in the green. If this seemed fun to you and you think you have what it takes to be a survivor, to join the next one, you simply have to subscribe 
and join the Boa Zone Discord, linked in the description below. That is where you can get the latest information on how to apply for future events. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys next time.